Welcome back to the Learn English with Jose and I'm here at the exercise number 6, page number 7 at the Solutions Intermediate Second Edition Students Book. Okay, so now number 6. Pete's always looking in the mirror. It is so annoying. So keep, they gave us the word keep. So Pete, keep. So keep. Keep, we will we'll write keep first. Keep plus is it is it here? Keep keep ah keep plus verb ing. So let's find the verb. Keep look looking. So it's it is look, but verb in then will put ing. So keep looking. But be careful. Pete is only one, not two. So we'll put s for Pete. Keeps looking. Seven. I really don't want to watch another tele uh, another fashion show. They gave us the verb can't face. Can't face. Okay, so can't face plus verb ing. Can't face can't face plus ing. So let's find the verb. Watch. I don't want to watch. So watch is a verb. We'll put it and transform it into ing. Verb ing. Then we'll put ing after the verb watch. So watching, watching, watching. Can't face watching. Okay, good. Okay, be, before we finish the learning, let's what we we'll say. Let's read a very important learning box. Verbs that change their meaning. Some verbs can be followed by an infinitive or an ing form without much difference in meaning. I love to take photos. I love taking photos. It started to rain. It started raining. Some verbs change the meaning depending on whether they are followed by an infinitive or ing form. Forget. Go on. Remember. Stop. Try. Okay, so first, first one. Some verbs that can be followed by an infinitive or ing form. So, love, you can say, I love to take photos. You can also say, I love taking photos. Or you can say, it started to rain. Started to rain. Or you can also say, it started raining. So, Start, you can plus to infinitive or ing, whether to you. Love, you can put to plus infinitive or you can put uh, ing. But, some verbs might change their meaning depending on whether they are followed by an infinitive or an ing form. Example, stop. This is a very, very, very important. Very important. I stopped to buy, uh, I stopped to smoke, I stopped to smoke, stop to smoke. That means I stop, I stop to smoke. No, I don't explain it. That. I stop to smoke and I stop smoking. Stop to smoke. That means I, I am writing my, maybe I am writing Writing, no, not smoke. Uh, okay, so maybe smoke. He, he stops to smoke. He stops to smoke. That means he is riding a motorbike. Then he stops his motorbike. Then he pick out a cigarette. Then he smoke. <laughs> that is stop to smoke. But stop smoking. He stops smoking. He stops smoking. That means he gives up. He gives up smoking. So, first one, it is stop, stop to do something. Like, stop the motorbike. Stop the motorbike to smoke. Or the second, give up smoking. Give up smoking. I won't smoke anymore. 
so let us give up don't want to smoke anymore so it is really important depending depends on whether you put ing or you put infinitive form okay uh this is maybe you will only uh remember remember uh remember in your mind okay so thank you so much for watching this lessons about learning let's we'll say the unit 1 the verb patterns and uh, remember to tune remember to tune in at our lesson at 7 30 p.m on our facebook page and our youtube channel remember to review 1d grammar verb patterns and prepare for the next week's lesson 1e reading we'll talk about i bored we'll discuss a uh, disability what is it about we'll find out next week at 7 30 p.m on our facebook page and our youtube channel okay so since today is the first of april that is the april first is the april fools april fools day so I want to say to you guys that it's happy April Fool's Day. Um, and now I will finish the show to go to trick people. Ooh, my favorite day. Oh, oh, I have tricked you. I have tricked you. Why? Because today you are watching this show. It is the April 1st of 2017. Saturday, April 1st, 2017. But I have recorded this show last Saturday. Means I am recording this show at I can prove it to you now. It is Saturday um Saturday um the March twentieth March twentieth twenty seventeen. Saturday, March 20th, 2017. So right after I record last week's show, then I record this week's show. Oh my god, I have tricked you. Happy April Fool's Day. I'm going to say this is Lord English. We will say goodbye and good night. Happy April Fool's. Bye-bye. Happy Apple Fool's Day!